Hi guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, so today I thought I'd do a little reaction video. This is Love Don't Judge and apparently this woman right here is in love with a chandelier. That rhymed. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's get into this. This is Amanda. She fell in love with Lumia. She's very fun. Oh, Lumia. I think that's a, that's a cool name, Lumia. It sounds, I feel like it sounds like a chandelier's name, you know, because it's like Lumia, Lumi, Luminous. Luminous is like light. Chandeliers produce light. Perfect name. You know, she picks great names, you know. Wait. So if she picked a name for a chandelier, isn't that sort of like her child rather than her partner? Because you don't pick your partner's name, do you? Or maybe it's a pet name, you know? Let me focus. Excitable, she's mature, but she's youthful as well, even though she's 100 years old. While many struggle to get to grips with Amanda's unusual romance... It was difficult because nobody really understood me, no one really got me. Amanda has come to terms with the fact that she has fallen in love with a chandelier. I've never loved a human. It's, when she kisses it, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's weird, come on, we all know it's weird. Like, no one just kisses chandeliers for fun, you know? Well, Unless they're on something. She's not though. I don't think so. I want to swing around the chandelier. <laughs> I was thinking that song in my head. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> she's a joker. Shout out to Amanda. Singing Chandelier by Sia. Ah, yeah. That may be all right, miss. I wonder what's with all the um, Statue of Liberty stuff. Is that like a, is that like a polyamorous relationship? Maybe she's in love with Lady Liberty too. And so they all live in like a room. Also, what are these little other chandeliers? She, those are their children. She cheating on the chandelier. She cheating on what's the name? Lumiere. Um, there's so many questions, but maybe we'll find out. Let me just play the video. Attracts me about chandeliers is the way they look. The the rotational symmetry. They don't have to have crystal prisms on them. They can be without. They can just be a beautiful shape. I mean, they are beautiful, you know. So I understand that aspect. Chandeliers are gorgeous, you know. They're spectacle. I'm just not wanting to kiss one, you know. But hey, these are. Sorry, the glare is is annoying me, but continue. Of roughly 50. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful sound. I fell in love with drums first when I was about 14. That lasted for quite a while. There was actually another love between there. I don't talk about that much, but it's the American flag. So I love the American. So, th so that's where I came from, the American flag. Um, so she's had quite a few partners. Drums, the American flag, and now chandeliers. I can flag for a couple of years and I still do. I just like how it looks. Then the Statue of Liberty, she came in Caught about it. 2008 or so. This particular example I've had for 10 years. Although Amanda still has love for the Statue of Liberty, her affections have since moved over to chandeliers. And there is one in particular. These girls ain't loyal, I'm telling you. How do you move on from Lady Liberty like that? Just some... Listen, yeah? Maybe... I just made a connection in my head. Maybe there's a connection through all these, uh, these lovers of her. So drum kit, right? Um... Americans, I'm pretty sure no drums are African, aren't they? The drum kit, I'm think I think it's American. I'm such a no, I'm not. Yes, I am. The drum kit is American, right? I'm pretty sure. So that connects to the American flag, which was a second love, right? 
Lady Liberty is America, so that connects to her third love. Lady Liberty holds a torch. Torch produces light. Chandeliers produce light. That's the next connection. So, with that logic, I'm going to try and predict her next love is going to be... Hmm. Something that hangs from the ceiling. Uh, I'm going to say light bulbs. There is one in particular that is special to me, and that is this one. And it's Lumiere. I discovered Lumiere. She's kind of a player, you know. She's got a hell of a partners in the room, too. Look how many chandeliers she has. Like, relax, Amanda. Save some for the rest of us, like. Oh, oh no, I'm not going to be able to get her. She's too expensive for one. And I'm going to get her shipped over here and then I ended up buying her. It's a bit weird talking about your partner about this, right? Because, like, imagine if it was me, right? And they said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got it from eBay. Uh. You know, it's a bit too expensive though. I don't know if I could have got her. You know, that's a bit. At least she's aware though. It's not like to the point where she's humanizing the chandelier. She knows it's, it's a chandelier, right? It's just that she has some sort of bond with it that's gone a bit. The angles on her attract me. Her brun, you know, her color, her attitude, her way. Her energy, so I'm so happy to get her here. Her energy, she's very funny, she's excitable, she's mature, but she's useful. She's light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a physical attraction there, most definitely. I mean, the shape of her arms is just so unusual. I've never seen that before. I love the amount of detail. I'll take back what I said. From my body into her, she lights up my life. You're nice and clean now, aren't you? Literally. <laughs> yeah. Although Amanda's friends and family are accepting of her it. affection for objects, many people don't understand this form of love. I think people find it strange because it's unusual, you know. It's I mean, it is strange. But... You know, I think she can st still do what she wants, but it is strange. Not Can't something deny. that everyone's heard of before. People might not understand the attraction not sponsored. or the energy, or because they don't feel energy from objects. I get mixed reactions from people. Really. Some people are like, oh, well, you yeah, know, that's, that's interesting. You know, look at it. Well, how does that work? People aren't really mean to me on my to my face, you know. So, whatever people might type on the internet, they won't dare say it to my face. They're just trying to impress them. Oh, man, just got she got them hands, you know. Just say it to my face. <laughs> Square up. <laughs> oh. Lumiere, I'll kiss her and I'll cuddle her and just stroke her or whatever. And that's about the limitations of physical contact with her. And I'm quite happy with that. You know, I'm, I don't need more than that. At least she's not doing... <clears throat> with it, you know. She's... You know, it's, it's a bit weird, but, you know, it's not, it's not that bad. You know, like, imagine if I was... Tried to do this Rubik's Cube and I started kissing it. Like, it's it's strange, but it's, it's not that crazy. Like, you know, people when they win a competition, they kiss the trophy. Is that, that's not weird. Or they kiss their belt or whatever they win. It's, it's not that weird. Like, it's weird, but it's not that weird. I know it's difficult for people and I respect that. But I'd rather people come to me with a question than to immediately write me off. What I think is the most important about objects and sexuality is that it's love. You know, it's real 
genuine love. Well, that was a man. You know, that was better than I thought it'd be. Um, she seems like a really nice person. And, you know, I've seen a couple of these um, videos where people are on love with objects. I think, she, as I said, it's ob object homosexuality or something like that. Or object sexuality. And some people go to extreme, you know. There's a woman who was in love with uh, the Eiffel Tower. She was, like, sitting on it and, like, rubbing. That, that's, that's, you know. How when she, like, it's just, it's just, like, it's not, it's not too much, you know. It's not too sexual. Like, she's, she says she feels a connection to it, like an emotional connection. And it, it's kind of understandable. Um... Because there's certain objects that I, I haven't gone to that level, but, you know, that I like to take care of because, you know, they mean a lot to me. So I kind of understand where she's coming from. Um, I think, you know, she, I don't think it's hurting anyone. So, yeah, it's, it's not that crazy to me. It's weird, but I don't see a problem with it. I'll see you in another video if I decide to make one. Goodbye. Yeah.